Holy God, in this season of Advent waiting, we are longing for your coming, for your hope to break into this world for so many in need of that hope. For now, Lord, we wait. We wait in this time. We make room and space for you to enter into us. As we pray for the world, we set the worry and the fear aside to cultivate and make room for you in the silence, in the silence. Come, let us bow down, come and bend the knee, kneel before the Lord, our Maker. Hearken to his voice, harden not your hearts, for he Let us bow down, come and bend the knee, kneel before the Lord our Maker. Hearken to his voice, harden not your hearts, for he bow down, come and bend the knee, kneel before the Lord our Maker. Hearken to his voice, harden not your hearts, for he bow down, come and bend the knee, kneel before the Lord our Maker. Hearken to his voice, harden not your hearts, for he bow down, come and bend the knee, kneel before the Lord our Maker. Hearken to his voice, harden not your hearts, for he Let us bow down, come and bend the knee, kneel before the Lord our Maker. Hearken to his voice, harden not your hearts, for he As we gather together, we make time to lift up the prayers that are on our hearts and minds. You might speak aloud 
in this time. You might speak them in your heart and mind. You might ask the Lord what is being stirred in you. We know that at Morrow Church, we have lost pillars this year. We have lost family members and children have been lost. And so we are mindful that there is enough pain, suffering, grieving, enough fear and anxiety that leads to anger and upset. And we turn them, all those prayers to God. Say together, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And when our own prayers are too deep for words, we entrust our whole selves, our whole lives, our entire journeys to God, that we might walk with God with an awesome sense of God's presence and protection and care and companionship. And it is that union that we seek this day in the silence, in the silence. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. How privileged we are to carry everything to you. And so, we dare pray together as your children the words that you taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, keep watch, take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, keep watch. reading from Isaiah 40. A voice cries out, In the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? 
all people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades. When the breath of the Lord blows upon it, surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. As we gather for this time of silence together, some of us find it helpful to focus on a sacred word. Some of us may grab a phrase from the scripture, something that is meaningful, something that we can remember, something that we can carry with us, like the hope, joy, peace, and love, and light of Advent. We use a word, we use a phrase that grounds us, returns us to God's presence. As we practice in silence, we know that our spirits will move, our minds will wander, and we will need to come home, return to God through that word, through that phrase. We enter the silence this day. In this season of waiting, we wait for Jesus will come. In the silence, in the silence.
Almighty Lord, grant unto us a peaceful night, a perfect end. Amen, amen. Almighty Lord, grant unto us a peaceful night, a perfect end. Amen, amen. Almighty Lord, grant unto us a peaceful night, a perfect end. Amen, amen. Almighty Lord, grant unto us a peaceful night, a perfect end. Amen, amen. Almighty Lord, grant unto us a peaceful night, a perfect end. Amen, amen. Almighty Lord, grant unto us a peaceful night, a perfect end. Amen, amen. Almighty Lord, grant unto us a peaceful night, a perfect end. Go now in peace, my friends. In this first week of waiting, be patient. Go out into the world with a sense of trust, faith, and great courage that Jesus is coming. Wait for the Lord. Wait. In the name of the one who is creator and redeemer and the one who will sustain us for all time, amen.